Welcome to another Transformers review, and this time it will be MP19 <coughs> Smokescreen. He is a Cybertronian diversionary tactician. Right here, you have the uh, iconic um, black box, the masterpiece box with the robot and vehicle mode Nissan logo, masterpiece, MP19 wordings, uh, smokescreen wordings. Alright, and the side, the um, of the um, uh, robot mode, right? The uh, chess display. At the back here, you have him hanging out with still the same uh, figure with uh, uh, Prime, the vehicle mode. He fits in this trailer. Blah 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 blah. Uh, his shoulder cannons, which are different. Okay, and how to uh, which accessories he comes with, and basically that's it. And. This is smoke screen out of the uh, box. All right, you have his um, some sort new weapon with a blue uh, handle, which signifies that he's uh, smoke screen, and also his shoulder cannons. Here is his vehicle mode. All right, and in the packaging we have smoke smoke screen with his uh, bio card. And instructions, and also it comes with the um, smoke screen coin. Okay, you open this up, and you can see his face, uh, uh, and also the uh, wood smoke screen. And you flip him out this way, and it says Masterpiece 19 smoke screen. And this that's basically it with the packaging and the coin. And here is a smoke and here is smoke screen in his um, vehicle mode, and here is very reminiscent of the G1 smoke screen, with the iconic 38 um, uh, decal logo on the side of the doors. All right, okay. And here you have a few of them, which says heart disturbance, slot fever, decon, all defcon all, smoke uh, smoke tactics. And you still have the uh, chrome parts on his, um, basically his wheel. And the wheel is made of uh, plastic, not rubber. And here in front of you, you have his um, Autobot logo. And on the windscreen, it says Smoke Tactics. The same, or uh, it remains the same for the other uh, side of the car. And at the back here, you have the redesigned headlights as well. And here's the beneath uh, the um, what do you call that the car mode, and also you can still have some uh, visible hand syndromes here. Yeah, you can see. All right, and uh, that's basically it of the figure. Um, and f uh, on the uh, side panels, front and back, all are translucent or see through plastic is black in color, and the headlights are still the same. Uh, just this part of the vehicle is a bit um, um, uh, depicting a, a sports car or NASCAR like uh, vehicle which the um, MP17 and 18 it will be curved in okay and that's basically it all right next I'll be showing you the attachments for his uh, weapons in uh, vehicle mode Alright, as you know that a um, the MP18 comes with a extra or remoted part, okay? Which you need to split this part here and bring out the doors slightly. Bring this out. Bring this out. Alright, this piece here, this is a bit hard. At first, so what you need to do, what we need to do is basically try to use a this uh, smokestack and try to ring it up because it's a bit tight as it's painted, and this part is very hard to bring out. Okay, and you can close the uh, vehicle in again. Okay, put it back in. Same as for the doors. Okay. Let's realign the um, mirrors first. Let's 
same goes for this part here and put them back in okay and what you can do with this is basically uh, here's the gun flip this down sorry the other way it's a bit tight and put it in the pack hole at the back here but you can rotate it up and down whichever way you like and as for the shoulder cannons you can actually come here and just pack it in at this um, this pack hole over here Alright, and compared to the MP17, MP18, uh, this is the um, most uh, armed uh, brothers of the uh, Fairlady series. Alright, for this uh, Fairlady for the smokescreen, Right, I, uh, there's a um, significant improvement in the painting, uh, the quality of the paint. Right, there's no smudges or any um, issues with the paint job at all. The decals are quite nice, no um, uh, what's called things around it. Okay, and next I will show you his um, basically his robot mode in comparison to MP17. Alright, uh, the and for the transformation is uh, basically the same as the all the um, um, MP17 and 18 so I will not be showing you that and here is MP19 transform in his robot mode alright and alright here is uh, the, the um, a close look at his head sculpt over here his chest piece from the top and no, uh, not typically um, the difference for the shoulder cannons mode is this used to be round and longer but this is just flat uh, uh, flat pieces here okay and basically here's a, a side view of um, uh, smoke screen back view uh, still the same and also the other difference is the um, views are on his shoulders right now instead of at the back for MP17 and 18. Alright, without further ado, let's try to mount his um, smokestacks. Okay, basically you, what you need to do is bring this, the uh, smokestacks here. You can see a... Um, let me try to adjust the camera a bit higher. Okay, you just pack... You can slide this in to this part here. And... Basically, that's it. Alright, there's one shoulder cannons installed. Let's try to install the next one. All you need to do is just bring it over here. Pack it in this way. Slide it in. Come over here and here it is with his shoulder cannons installed properly. And right here, open his arms. And you can actually try and let him hold a weapon. And mine has a bit of issues actually holding it. Okay, there have been several reports of um, MP. Uh, 19 unable he's unable to hold his weapon properly okay and here's mp19 with his weapon as you can see he has a uh, terrible uh, he's terrible at holding his gun okay it should be straight However, here's a comparison with MP17 Pro. All 
All right. And here's the um, side comparison. Um, MP actually MP uh, 19 smoke screen is a bit uh, taller because of his uh, smoke stacks. Right, and here he has been a review of MP19 smokescreen. And finally, this is the uh, MP17 um, weapon, and this is the uh, MP19 weapon. That's the difference. Uh, difference in totally new scope, and also the handle, white and blue.